Before we get into the video, we want to uh, talk about a quick word from our sponsor here, BET Online. They're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports. Um, I personally don't bet a lot near this Tanner, but we know that when our friends talk about betting, BET Online is the place to go. They're simply the best. So head to the website, betonline.ag. We'll pop it up on the screen, and the link is in the description. Or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's BET Online. AG. Now, on with the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chum Chat. We have another special guest with us today. It goes by Sam Vines. Sammy, how you doing, Sam? Good, man. How you guys doing? We good, we good. I mean, we've seen how you, you know, you popped off with a goal last week. Just tell us how that was, you know, first goal this year. How was the feeling? Oh, man, it felt great, you know. Um, the, the goal was crazy, you know. It was, it was good to get the first one out of the way and hopefully get a lot more this year. Uh, you know, our, our team got the win too, so it was a super good feeling. Hey, that's what I like to hear, bro. Is there hey, I, I was kind of butthurt, though, you know, because uh, you got the assist from Michael Barrios, you know. Uh, you know, this year we, we we hope to have more assists on our team. But, you know, Barrios, how do you like Barrios? Because I know, like, when we were at camp and stuff, like, y'all kept asking me, like, how's Barrios, like, whatever. And uh, I was telling y'all straight up, I was like, he's a good player. He's going to help you all a bunch. But everybody had their doubts. Obviously, J. Lou was tight. He was really tight. Still is tight. <laughs> Uh, but but now nah, what do you think about michael so far no nah, mikey's good he's he's definitely a good addition to our team um you know the way we play and the way we we want to play uh, i think it really fits him you know he really stretches the game for us he's good at beating guys and getting assists so uh, i mean i think he's a great addition to our team and you know too bad for you guys he left <laughs> uh, for real. bro no, i swear was, I, he, he had, had time, two though. assists he had two assists his last game right yeah. And I swear, Versace Dallas, he had, like, a clear chance. And then, like, I swear he's gotten other assists, too. Like, he's been on fire to start the season from nah, what I've seen. Yeah, he's been killing it. Hey, same as that. Tell me about that that moment, bro, where uh, y'all are – it was at uh, – it was at y'all stadium, no? Or was it in Minnesota? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was at our stadium. Yeah. It was at y'all stadium, right? Yeah. Dude, that was crazy. Uh -huh. That was crazy, bro. You got an assist that game? Just one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, tell me about that, bro. So early in the season, too. Like, I've never had a moment like that early in a season. But like, just walk, walk, walk. Y'all were down two zero versus Minnesota, a team that hasn't didn't win a game back then. hadn't, uh, hadn't won a game yet. Yeah. Dude, what what went on with that, bro? Man, it was crazy. We went at halftime, and all the guys were like, "Man, what are we doing? You know, uh, this is not how we play. This this is you know." You know, we're in the – we're in for it, you know. And, you know, we went out second half, just went out flying. Uh, we pinned them back. Uh, Kel got the first goal, uh, kind of set us rolling. Uh, then Cole scored, tied it up, and we're like, all right, well, now we're going to win this game, you know. And once you get that second goal, we, we were just flying. And we knew it was coming, and eventually Danny got up, got the header, and uh, we just held on for the rest of the game. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Those are the moments you live for, huh? Oh, yeah. Being down two now at halftime at home. Oh man, in front of your friends, family. It's amazing. I, I didn't watch crazy. I didn't watch the Dallas versus Colorado game. I think it was too late for me, but who who do you like y'all tied, right? But who who dominated that game? Who should have won that game? Well, let's just let's just state something real quick, John. <laughs> me or Sammy didn't even play in the game. Yeah, neither of us played. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. So I would I didn't sub in and Sammy, he was hurt, right? You hurt your hamstring? Yeah, I was hurt. I was, I was back yeah. in Colorado. But to be fair, if I can remember correctly, it was a pretty even game, no? It was pretty even, yeah. I mean, we, had, I mean, both teams had a lot of chances. So, I mean, yeah. it, it was a pretty, pretty open game, too. Yeah. Y'all are up there year, now, know? though. Y'all are flying. Y'all are, what, yeah. two-game win streak? Three. Three now. Three-game win streak. Wow. Y'all yeah, think y'all can, can challenge or no for the MLS Cup or no? I think so, yeah. I mean, we're flying. Uh, I actually, I made a bet. I can't cut my hair until until we lose. So, it's just it's just growing, man. <laughs> Twenty four hours later.
Oh, well, shoot. I'm gonna have to call the teams I'll play, bro. You might just have to have a mop as a head, bro. Bro, I might have a mop at the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, imagine y'all went undefeated, bro. You'd be looking like... Like a like a poodle, bro. Like a long poodle hair. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Speaking no. of dogs, though, how's your dog, though? He's good. He's right over there. He's just sleeping, you know, doing his thing. As many of our... As many of our other young guests, my boy Sammy bought a house, very young age. What are you like? You're like 22, no? 23? 21. Uh, 21? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know. I thought you have a girlfriend. I, I, I'm sorry if this person, we can edit out. Do you live with her or do you live alone? Yeah, yeah. We live together. She's just His at, wife. at work right now. Uh, His wife. Yeah, when are you going to pop you, the bro. question? What are yeah. you going to question, pop the question? Pop the question after Tanner does. Never. That means never. Uh, oh, <laughs> down, bro. It's hey, it's not never, but bro, Sammy, you've been with her for how long, bro? Uh, almost two years now. Sammy, let me put the puzzle together, okay? See, in <laughs> life, you have all these, you have all these pieces, right? You have all these pieces. You have, you know, yeah. you have the, the, you know, the first date. You have that piece. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you have the dog. You have that piece. Uh, uh -huh. You know, you have the house. You know, you have that piece. <laughs> you have the money. You have that piece. So the only piece you're missing is the piece. That it's just all put together and you have a wife. So I don't understand, you know, just ask a question, bro. Like, just ask a question. You have all the pieces. Oh, <laughs> uh, you put me on the spot. Huh? <laughs> hey, don't worry. She's not going to watch this. So she won't know. She won't see it coming. You know, she's not going to watch this. But, but hey, for real, I'm expecting at least in a year or two, like the year you're, you're going to get engaged, like for real, for real. Oh, yeah, for real, for real. And I, I mean, look, I don't, look, I don't expect to like be invited to the wedding and stuff, you know, like, it's cool, bro. Oh, like course, I get it, bro. We, but we like, but like, together. of course you'll be there. Oh, let's talk about golf now, huh? Oh. Hey, in case y'all didn't check it out, what was it? Season two, first episode, we went golfing with the chums. Uh, check it out, Sammy, if you haven't checked it out. You know, it was a very poor performance by all of us. But hey, when me and Sammy were at camp, we were golfing together. Pretty, pretty decent golfing. I wouldn't say we were bad. It was decent. It was a, it was a fun time. Have you have you golfed any since then or no? It's been no. Nah, it's been so so bad weather. It's been snowing. Uh, it just got warm, but it's probably like thirty mile per hour winds out there right now. So, yeah, it hasn't been has been good. Wow. That's rough. crazy, bro. <laughs> it's rough. Hey, my, my sister's in Colorado right now. She's uh yeah. she's like visiting some friends or something. But oh, that's cool. Man, that's crazy, bro. That yeah, much wind, bro? Out, bro. Come on out to Colorado. <laughs> hey, we will eventually. We have to play y'all. At least I remember going in the academy, year. bro. I hated going to Colorado, bro. It was always so cold, bro. Always and y'all's turf field, y'all's turf field was so trash. Like, so bad. Bro. It was dumb too, because every time we win, it was like we know we're gonna get six points this weekend, so like <laughs> uh, we don't have to travel, you know? Like we didn't really have to travel. It was like uh, just add goofy. six, you know. Uh, Let's okay. be honest, though, Sammy. Did you ever beat FC Dallas in your academy career? That's actually a great actually, question. Actually, we did. We did a lot. Our 99s group, we we beat him a few times. It's pretty really? even. Yeah, it's pretty even. <laughs> we be getting on Cole's head, bro. There's this one video of him where he like writes down his goals, and one goal, uh, one of his goals is like beat FC Dallas. No, nah. <laughs> never beat FC Dallas, bro. He never beat FC Dallas in academy career, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, oh bro. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, I was just gonna bring up, you know, obviously they came out with the the men's national team roster recently, and I know I know you see yourself in that picture, even though you know. Not a lot of endless guys on the roster. There's like four, maybe five if you count Daryl DK. But uh, for me, I, I think you're in the picture, like 100%. Like, especially going to camp with you, playing with you for a little bit. Because obviously you're flying this year. So you're, you're definitely in contention for me at least. But but uh, what, what has he said so far to you? Not much, honestly. Ever since um, 23's camp, I haven't really heard from anyone from the national team. So, uh, you know, you get the preliminary roster. You get the the email and saying, oh, you, you're on this roster. You know, we'll, we'll finalize the roster soon. Um, and then I just waited to hear anything. And honestly, I haven't heard anything from the coaching coaching staff. So um, it's kind of just in the air. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, there's not many left backs uh, that are – in with the national team right now. I mean, there's only Anthony right now on that roster. And then Sergi, if you count him as a left back, because um, yeah. he can play both sides. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, ultimately it's not up to me. <laughs> just got to keep playing well with the club and, and you know, just wait for, for his call. Yeah. How did, how did that make you feel when you saw the Nations League thing? I mean, 
obviously there's a big difference between, you know, having a January MLS camp, being in that compared to now you're like with the big boys, you see obviously the Pulisic, all those guys on that Nations League roster. How did that make you feel being on that? I mean, it was awesome to be on the prelim roster, but, you know, it obviously hurts when you're not on the on the final roster. Um, so, it, you know, it's kind of upsetting uh, not being on the on the final roster, but, you know, we just do our thing back here and, you know, play every game, you know, you know how it goes. Um, and, you know, hopefully that you get called in for the next thing. Hey, it's going to be hard to keep you off that roster if you keep, uh, if you keep hitting those top bins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's facts. Top bins, bro. <laughs> that was and nasty. That's yeah. What was up with that, bro? I'd never seen you hit a ball like that ever. And then you just whip it out. Like what, what was up with that, bro? Yeah, bro. You know, I, we're kind of changing our formation a little bit. So where I can attack more. Um, so I saw, bro, I saw Mark, uh, Mikey take off and I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta get to the top of the box. I know he's going to get there. He got there. He played it back, bro. my eyes, they went big. I was like, okay, I got, I got to put this away now. He, you know, he, he ran the whole pitch. He played a perfect ball. I got to put this away. So I just put my let put my uh put my foot through it and went top bins, you know. Uh, that's one of those where you just like you see the keeper, you see everyone in front of you, you're like, all right, I just gotta hit this hard and, and put it put it in there. So I mean it felt felt amazing. You ran to the corner flag. Mez didn't even know <laughs> how to celebrate, bro. Mez didn't yeah, even know how to not know how to celebrate, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Damn you. Bro. The corner flag, bro. <laughs> oh no, that was let's, disappointing. Let's talk yeah. about something serious here. Some kind of yeah. serious. All right, so it's no no secret that Colorado has had struggles in recent years. Mm-hmm. And I, I, this isn't even me just, like, teasing you or bringing it up, but a lot of people have, like, kind of sometimes Colorado has been the brunt of the joke in terms of just the way that the club is run. Do you, do you guys hear those mumblings and stuff like that and be like, nah, we got to show that we're better than that, we're, like, a top-tier club in MLS, or, like, you guys don't really pay attention to it? Uh, I mean, we try and just, you know, brush it off, but obviously, you know, recent years we haven't been, um, in playoffs. I mean, last year was the first time since I think 2016. So, um, you, you kind of know that you're, you're not doing as well as a club if you're not in the playoffs every year. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a little bit through your head and then at the end of the day, you know, um, it's up to, you know, the next game and we've been flying this year. So, um, all those are just, you know, just noise right now for us, uh, especially the way we started and, you know what we're planning on doing this year yeah what's yeah. up what's up with y'all guys as fans man we first of all we have to talk about fc Dallas fans and colorado <laughs> fans because i just feel like them stadiums never fill up bro like if i'm watching colorado highlights at y'all stadium i know it's gonna be an empty crowd bro what's up with that? <laughs> i don't know man uh i mean obviously this year covid has something to do with it um we only that's get excuse. I think, <laughs> yeah that's our excuse we get 40 percent capacity this year so um i mean that's I mean, that's eight thousand people i think maybe close to nine thousand so uh wow. i don't have not much to say about our fans <laughs> is it far away from downtown or like is it is the stadium location bad or something or what, what do you um think? it's pretty it's pretty far out it's it's probably a good 20 25 minutes from downtown uh depending on traffic um so i mean it's kind of a trek for a lot of people so uh, i think that could play a part of it and and um you know we play usually at the same time as uh, the Nuggets and the Avalanche. So, you know, trying to get fans from them is, is really hard, too. You're competing with hey, Nikola gonna... Jokic and stuff. It's it's tough, you know. It's tough. I know. The man hey, going for yeah, MVP. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to – hey, our Dallas fans are high level. I'm not going to diss our Dallas fans. Oh, you for know? sure. This year, we've, we've, had a, we've had really good numbers in our stance. Obviously, we have more capacity than – we're, like, at 100%, basically. So – Hey, we're doing good. But enough talking about Colorado, bro, because you've been there your whole life, basically. So what's yeah. the next move? Like, what's the next move? Obviously, you see the, the men's national team roster, the thing that you want to be on, that we all want to be on. And a lot of those players are in Europe, and that's they're playing in high-level games, you know, Champions League, Europa League, and they're playing in big tournament cups and stuff. So what's the next move for you, you think? Uh, I mean, you've seen a lot of guys in recent years. You know, they do well in the MLS. Um, I mean, you saw Mark and Brendo. Um, they both went overseas to pretty big clubs. Um, so I think that's that's my next goal to to go over there and play for a, a top club in a in a top league. Uh, you know, hopefully Champions League, if not Europa League. Um, you know, Mark's playing a lot now. Brendo's obviously doing doing really well, and especially I mean, even DK, uh, he's killing it in the championship. So you know, one of those leagues would be nice. Um, you know, it's in due time. Uh, so, you know, I just got to keep performing here. And then, you know, when it comes, it comes. All right, before I move into our signature question, what what's your dream scenario? What's your dream league to play in? Dream league, the prep. I mean, 
Uh, okay, let me reword that because that, that was that was a little bit too easy. Maybe yeah. like dream, <laughs> maybe like dream move like right now. That it's like okay, I would want to go here for my development. Is it still the prem? Um, I mean, obviously you'd like to go to the prem, but it's it's really hard uh, to go there and just start games. Um, you know, especially as a defender. Um, I, I mean, I would say championship would be a good move. Uh, you know, it's a high high level. Uh, you've seen how DK's done. And a few other guys to go over there. So I think championship would be a good move. If, if you're wondering, John, why he's sticking with the British teams, is because his shot, he's a British. Nah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tanner, he knows a little bit too nah. much, eh? He knows a little bit too <laughs> much. Yeah, hey, we, we're going to have to cut that out, huh? We're going to have to cut that out, John. Mark it, bro. What minute are we in? All right. I didn't, I, didn't know my man's, I didn't know my man's knew this much, bro. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, me and Sammy are tight. Me and Sammy are tight, but we're going to have to edit that out because, you know, we can't be talking about that, you know. Fair but uh, fair that's, fair that's why, that's why you know, Sammy's trying to stick with the British teams because, you know, his, his girl's from there and, you know, he persuades his – she persuades his life, you know. Anything that he does – She wears the pants. She wears the pants. Yeah, she wears – yeah, anything Sammy oh, does, like, goofy, hey, babe, we're going to have chicken tonight. No, no chicken. We're having <laughs> no a steak. Chicken. And Sammy's like, all right, steak, steak. That's how it goes, you know. Put his hands up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> all right, bro. Let's uh, all right. Let's take a break here. Let's move into our signature question. We try to define right. success. Everyone has a different answer to success. So let me ask you, what's your definition of success, and do you think you've achieved it yet? Um, I mean, my definition of success is, uh, you know, kind of doing things to where you think that you've done well. Um, you know, kind of um, self -per perseverance type deal. Um, obviously I don't think I've achieved it yet. Um, I think I can play at a higher level. I think I can be in with the national team, uh, you know, as much as I can. Um, I don't think I've gotten there yet. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of just all up in your head, all up to yourself. I think, uh, you obviously want to make your friends and family happy, but, uh, you know, for me, it's just making yourself happy and making yourself think that you're at the highest level that you can achieve. And personally, I don't think I'm there yet. Uh, I think, um, with due time, I will be. But uh, yeah, right now I don't think I've achieved everything that I that I want to in life. So, do you, would you say that like maybe making a move to Europe would would help dictate that success in a way? Yeah, for sure. I mean, playing at a higher level, playing uh, with you know high level players every single day uh, would definitely help with the uh, you know the whole success um, that I'm that I'm looking for. That's fast. Okay. Okay. I'm going to move on to our next signature question. I'm going to try to word it better than we usually do. Obviously, I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of our guys on, that we have on here are single. But our, our other signature question is, obviously, you've got a little bit of, of clout now, we'd say. You know, a little bit of fame. You're well-known in the Colorado area, a national team player. You know, might go to Europe. So have people, like, since you got a little bit bigger, have people trying to come into your circle, trying to, you know, get close to you, ask you for things you know, maybe get into that little inner circle, you know, snakes in the grass. Have you had more of that? Yeah, bro. I mean, people will, you know, people that you that talk to in middle school will, will hit you up on DMs and be like, hey, bro, you know, how you doing? We should catch up. We should hang out sometime. And you're just like, well, I haven't talked to you in, in what, eight, 10 years. Like, why, why are you hitting me up now? And I mean, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are signing the DMs trying to you know, trying to hang out, trying to do stuff. And you're just like, all right, uh, you know, why are you showing up now? And why didn't you hit me up, you know, a few years ago before all of this? So. Hey, I bet my man is definitely getting hella DMs from girls, bro. He he grew up hella from middle school, bro. I'm a public uh, picture right there. My man's was like four feet tall in middle school, bro. Bro, middle that. school. Yeah, I was I was the shortest kid probably in my whole, in my whole school, seriously. Same here with the glow up. I'm for real though. <laughs> Hey, thanks, brother. You know, <laughs> where, hey, where'd you meet your girlfriend? Uh, she works at Top Golf actually, or she used to. So I met her at Top Golf. And you spit game? I spit game. Uh, I try to, you know. <laughs> break it I'll down. Break it down. So you were who? You went to the boys. You know, you were getting a drink. You know, she came over. Just like, break it down. What happened? You know, give us the, right, give us with, the night. I was with Cole and uh, Seb Anderson, um, and we just met up with her. Uh, she was. She was working at Top Golf, and then you know we just met up with her. We hung out, and Cole, this guy Cole, he thought he thought I was trying to hook, <laughs> hook him up with her. <laughs> so the whole time he thought that he was trying to get with her, but she was talking to me the whole time, so he was super confused, right? 
<laughs> so at the end of it, uh, you know, we all we all went our separate ways, and um, I was living probably like, you know, like a block from her at the time. So I drove home, and she followed. She was following me. I was like, "Hey, why, why? You know, like, why are you following me home? What's going on?" She's like, "What? What are you talking about?" And then she she turned right. I turned left, and then she sent me her address, and she was like, probably you know, hundred feet from my house. And then after that, you know, we just started hanging out every day. No, nah, no, nah, back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Cause she said so you walked out hundred feet at night, late at night. It wasn't like a little, you know, like, no, a no, it was, no, no, nah, nah, it was after, after, after training, we, we went over there. And then, uh, after that, it was probably, we were done by probably, I would say like four, four, four thirty. Yeah, it was, it was pretty okay. early. Uh, shout yeah, out Cole, that's... but I mean, if you would have taken any advice from Cole, you would have not have ended up with her, bro. Because bro, he be yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Someone gets it. Someone gets that he can't spit game. <laughs> Cole be so lost, bro. Cole be so lost with the ladies, bro. Oh, bro, man. I saw him. I was going through TikTok, and you know the Livy, the gymnast. Yeah, yeah. I saw him. I we were mutuals on TikTok, so he was like, it was a video of her, and he commented like some simp, bro. Like it was so oh, funny. I screenshotted no. it. And I'm gonna no. I'm gonna send it to him, bro. I screenshot. It was so funny, bro. I was so dead. I want to no, see. I want to see. I want to see Cole's DMs. Like, hey, what he what he says, you know? Like, what do you think something that Cole would say to somebody, you know? Bro, I'm telling you, you don't want to see his DMs. I've seen a few of them, and he just <laughs> he does the the worst things. You, he he probably Google them, copy and paste it, and then send it. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, ladies out there, this listen to the podcast. You listen to Cole's podcast. You know he's a cool guy. Make the first move. Please, 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 <laughs> please make the first please. move for our guy. He needs, he needs some help. He needs some help. Honestly, <laughs> but no. Uh, are you in the TikTok game? Uh, same here or no? Nah, bro. I don't. I, I don't. I don't like TikTok. My girlfriend yeah. loves TikTok. I don't like TikTok. Really? Yeah. Yeah. She she doesn't Why? do TikToks, but she she watches a lot of TikTok. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering because you know we had some. Uh, we had some guests on, you know, Daryl DK does a lot of TikToks. DK fans love it. It. Brendan be doing TikToks with his girl. Brendan. Oh, so we no, were just <laughs> Should we should we hit up one of the one the one we did with Brendan with Sammy? Which Remember one? it's like three, two, oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do that should one. Should we do it? We should do it. All we should right. Do it. We should do it. Welcome to a new segment, guys. We're gonna do uh <laughs> so you're you're not on TikTok, and neither was I, no. but uh I found this video and basically we'll say like a category. So we'll say, you know, like, for example, we'll do fruits and uh-huh. then we'll go, you think of a fruit and we'll go three, two, one. And then you say the fruit. And if we're on the same wavelength, then we're, then we're boys. But if, if not, chemistry. then, then we have bored, no chemistry. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do, what's the good topic? We say, I went, uh, I went four for four with Brendan, by the way, I went four for four. Four for Brendan. four. Yeah. Yeah. It was shocking. I only got one, right? So it was, it was kind of bad, That's but, crazy. uh, we'll do, uh, Man, what's something that's not too easy? You know what I'm saying? We'll do a. Uh, we could do like NBA players or something. Players, teams, like presidents. Yeah. Do an NBA t- NBA team, and you can't say the city you're in, so you can't say the Nuggets, and we can't say the the right. uh, the Mavs. The Mavs. All right. All right. So we're doing that first. Three. Yeah, NBA teams. I know who you guys are gonna say. Three, two, one. Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. Right, there it okay, is. okay. 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 <laughs> That was kind of easy, though. That was kind of easy. Like, yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to say the yeah, Lakers. Yeah, that was kind of easy. We probably okay. said, like, not Lakers, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do fruits. <laughs> okay. Redo. Not redo, Lakers. Redo. Okay, okay. Redo, redo. Fruits? Redo, but without no, Lakers. Runner, yeah, run a redo, because we can't be saying Lakers. That's too and obvious. And no Warriors. Yeah. Without Lakers, without the Nuggets, and without that mess. And Warriors. Okay, no, no Warriors. Oh, no. Wait, no Warriors, right? No Warriors. No Warriors. Wait, wait, no wait. Warriors, no Lakers, no Cavs. Oh wait, shit. No uh, Mavericks <laughs> and no Nuggets. I don't even know okay. the NBA teams. Hold on. Three, two, one. Trailblazers. Uh, <laughs> wait, what'd you say, Sammy? I said Trailblazers. What'd you say, John? I said Cavaliers. Oh, I thought you said Trailblazers. I was gonna trip, bro. <laughs> bro How'd you not say the hard. Bulls, bro? How'd you not say Who the Bulls? The Bulls, bro. Uh, Michael Jordan, the best player in the, ever in the league, played for the Bulls. They're not, they're not relevant anymore, bro. All right, let's do another one. Sammy, All you right, pick, let's you do pick a, a topic. Yeah, you pick a topic. I pick a topic. Uh, man. Um, let's just do maybe artists, like uh, singers. 
Okay. Like it has so to be any singer. music, any music artist, any music artist. Oh, like okay. Okay. Or like one. it can be a rapper. It can be a rapper. Any any mo- any artist. Any artist. Any. Three, right. two, one. Quake. Drake. Uh, I knew you guys were gonna say Drake. Drake's what did he say? What did you say? I said Quinn. Drake's Drake's too easy. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Quinn ninety two, bro. You don't know. Him. Bro, what is this guy on, bro? Sammy's a different era than I don't us, know huh? what you'd be uh, listening you to in Denver, bro. You're you're know. you're definitely 24, bro. You're you're a different era, bro. <laughs> Man's listening to like music from the 1980s. Uh, you guys crazy. <laughs> All right, let's 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 run uh let's run uh Premier League teams. All right, none of the big six. None of the I big mean, six. Bro. Does Arsenal count? <laughs> I was about to say Arsenal. <laughs> Tottenham, Tottenham, Arsenal. No, it could be any because the big six is like the big six. Like you okay. could say any six. Okay, true, true, true. All right. Three, two, one. City, Everton. Liverpool. Uh, we have no I mean, I, I, I knew John was going to say City. I had no idea you were going to say Everton, bro. No, nah, I didn't know you were going to say Everton. Yo, it's wow. not top six, bro. It's not top six. <laughs> wow. You said Everton. I forgot. All right, one more, bro. We got to get one. We'll do uh we'll do car brands. Car brands, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Mercedes. Audi. Tesla. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sammy, I thought you were gonna say Tesla though. We talked about no. Teslas, bro. Audi, bro. Come on. He said Mercedes. Oh my god. I I knew you were gonna say Audi too, because MLS is Audi, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say Mercedes, John, bro? What's up what with you? you? Mean, What's bro? going on, Mercedes? You've never had a Mercedes, bro. So? So? Mercedes are very popular in Europe. Mercedes are very popular in Europe, to be fair. So I see him. Oh, you're going to say Tesla? Hey, hey, he's big time, bro. He's, he's got, uh, you know, Europe. Sure. Yeah, he's in Europe, bro. He's on a t- sure, he's in a different time zone. Sure, different time sure, zone. Sure, sure, That's sure. crazy. Y'all are All right, I got it. Let me, I got to, I got to get a good category to, so we can get it, so we can get it. We can't, we can't get off this podcast without getting one together. But in the meantime, what's up with J. Lou? Because, you know, he's been trying to – he's been nagging me to get on the podcast, you know. <laughs> Speaking of that, who do you want to see next on Chum Chat, Sammy? Next on Chum Chat? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. You already had DK. You already had Brendo. You already had Cole. Yeah. Honestly, to be completely honest, I think Johnny, Johnny Lewis would be hilarious. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I think that'd be so funny. That guy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> he can talk for days. <laughs> yeah, that would be like a a twenty episode series of Chum Chat when he got on. He would just talk. It would be it would be hours. Hey, he's hours got, of. He's of... got a new nickname though. What's that? It's Nikki. Nikki Minaj. Nikki. I got. A, I got a category. Designer brands. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Hey, what's the category? You said which one? Designer brands. Designer brands. I think this might be a little easy, but we'll go with this it. This might Three, be easy. Two, one. Louis, Louis Vuitton. Oh, you guys said Louis Vuitton. Bro, said- what are you saying, Sammy? <laughs> bro, what are you saying, bro? Gucci, bro. You guys, yeah, you guys are big time. I, I get it. You got the Louis Vuitton bags and stuff. No, I, bro, I honestly, Gucci's like debatably not even a a designer brand anymore what? honestly what? <laughs> like, it's so garbage it can't even be a designer brand anymore all right i, I think we're just gonna have to retire from this we'll, we'll have to have him on part two and then and then maybe we'll get it then part two yeah, then we'll yeah. maybe we'll get it yeah hey but so you said uh you said you want J. Lou on the podcast next okay fair enough let me ask you you've played with a lot of great players you play with an national team you play with different guys uh colorado you play with different guys growing up you play with different guys so say you're going into a tournament. Who's your best five-a-side team, including yourself? Or is it without yourself? He's the manager without himself. Without yourself. So your best five-a-side team that you have to coach going into this tournament, who, but that you've players that you've played with. Players I've played with, let's see. Um, Tyler, Tyler Adams. Uh, they start off strong. Uh, yeah. Tyler, let me see. Um does that have to be like current form or just anytime? Anytime. It's if, if you play with him. All right. Uh, Nick Tadigui. Um, okay. Wow. 
I think wow. that's the second time he's appeared in a five aside. I think he was in Paxton Sioux. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Um I have Mark McKenzie. Okay. Uh honestly I would have Pax in there. That's four. Wow. Wow. Okay. Pax should be in there. And man, that's a hard one. Last one. Uh Timmy Howard. I was going to say, he was okay. going to go into that tournament with no keeper, bro. Yeah. <laughs> keeper, bro. I need a keeper. <laughs> I was dreaming, bro. Hey, that's crazy, though. We could talk about Tim Howard later, you know, but but that's yeah. that's, a, that's a solid team. I'm not going to lie. That's a that's definitely a team that's competing with a lot of good with a lot of good teams. So yeah. soon it's going to be I, I feel like soon it's going to be even better, better players than that. Like not no offense to those guys we picked, but like the best in the world, I feel like you're going to be playing with some. So that's part of the chum chat blessing that we got here. Yeah, I love that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, you love that. Hey, Cole knows about the chum chat blessing, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. That boy been scoring. That boy yeah. been scoring. Yeah, he's been scoring, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like always. Like always. Like always. Yeah. yeah. Ex- ex- yeah. Except when he played FC Dallas. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Hey, well, that's it for me. John, you got any more questions or are we, are we good? I think we're good. I'll just hit him with a quick outro. Oh no! Do one thing for me, Sam. For our um, for our socials, say just yeah. say I'm Sammy Vines, and I just define success with the chums. I'm Sammy Vines, and I just define success with the chums. Let's go, solid. Big time. That's a big time. All right, I'm gonna do an outro. Um, I'll let you plug yourself, and then we'll call it wraps. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have been showing mad love, so we appreciate it. Big thanks to our guest here, Sammy Vines, who's on to big, big things. Make sure y'all tune in to Colorado. They need the fans, so make sure y'all be tuning into their games. Uh, Sammy, I'm going to let you plug yourself real quick so they can go follow you on IG and whatever. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just Sammy Vines on Instagram, and and that's it. That's all I got. No Twitter. No Twitter. Nice. No Twitter. Twitter. All right, no Twitter. Just run, run the Instagram up. Like I said, make sure to go show love and um, go find y'all on Soul Success. Deuces. Deuces.